Hi. Um, let's see today survey smoking in detail. So followed by this, we will be seeing, uh, we will be looking at the uh, data driven testing. So let's see uh, how to mock a service and what are uh, mocking the services and uh, when do we need to go for one. So basically, mocks are nothing but it's an imitation of the actual API service. So it's like it will be simulating the behavior of the actual API, but in some controlled fashion, like if you're going to give some input, you'll be getting some output. And if you're going to give some negative input, you are going to get some negative response. So it is like for every negative response, you will be getting particular output in the response. And for every input, specific kind of input when you are going to con uh, configure in the request, then you will be getting a particular response. So it is always in a controlled fashion. So your inputs are restricted, which means uh, when we actually go for this mocking, it's like, so assume like uh, you are having two applications which integrates with one another. I mean two APIs which integrates with one another. So uh, the second API is dependent on the first one. It's like example, assume like you are having a login page which is yet to be developed, which is through API services, and uh, there is some other functionality which is dependent upon this login. So this login service is not yet developed, but the rest of the functionality is developed, which is dependent upon this. So we need to provide a positive response only then the next, or the next rest of the functionality can be simulated. So for this, since the functionality is not yet developed, since the API for the login is not yet developed, we need to mock, we need to go for mock services. So as the definition here, you can see, it's a, a simple mock service comes of a server, which are matching certain requests, as I told. Like if you are passing some input as 50 or 60, then you will be getting some responses 100. So it is hard coded. And then when you are passing any other negative inputs, any other inputs other than that, then you will be getting some invalid inputs or something, that kind of response. So it's hard coded. For any kind of input, for positive input, you will be getting one particular value. And for any other inputs, you will be getting some negative value. So this is what about mocking. So let's get into detail how to create a mock API service. For this, we are going to take a calculator application as we had already seen in the previous example. So let me. Get the pistol. Calculator pistol. So basically this is when uh, we need to have the whistle too. If we don't have the whistle, we will not be able to mock the service. So developers will have the whistle, but the service, actual service is not yet developed. Whistle file is available, but the actual service is not developed. So the developers will be providing this whistle, and then we need to uh, create a mock service for this one. So assume uh, I am mocking for add operation. So as usual, create a SOAP project. Sample mock. And provide the base flow. Click on OK. And you see over here. project is created with the interface related to calculator so and all the methods that are available under the interface now we are trying to mock this particular service assume like add operation is not yet developed so we wanted to test that one so what we are going to do is that we are going to mock this service so let me create then get soap mock service. So go to the interface header and then from there generate soap mock service. So for which operation? 
or which method the pistol you wanted to generate the soap, uh, mock service. So I wanted it to be done for add, add operation. So let me select only add. And what is the path of the smoke service on the server? So let me remove all these things. So this is the path for mock operation. And on which port smock operation will be running? So don't give it is like this. With a slightly H rate one. Yes, I am changing this port number so that uh, might be some other service will be running on H rate zero. So I was changing this port number. You can change it to any other number. Once this is done, don't start the service. Go to uh, click on OK and give the name for the mock operation. So this is a mock operation mock service we are going to create so give a name like add mock service and then click ok you can see here mock operation for the add service is created so it clearly reads like the operation is add so click on you can see under this mock service we are having what are the mock responses we are having one response in build. So, as I told, we'll be preparing two responses, one for positive inputs and one for the negative inputs. Assume like I wanted to add two numbers. If I'm giving, uh, let me just go into the add request so that we can get in more detail. So in add request, we are having two inputs, A and B. So when I give an input uh, like 50 for int A, then I need to get an output as 100. If I give an input other than 50 for int A, I want to get it as an invalid output. So invalid response, I wanted to read it. So this is response one. So I wanted to create one more response. You can see over here, create a new mock response for this operation. So click on that response two. So we can rename it as negative response. Okay. And this can be renamed to positive response. So I need to dispatch some response when I give some input. So we need to uh, see what are the input values we want you to configure so that for those particular inputs we want you to get this response. So we need to click on dispatch. In the dispatch you can see like smart script random query match. So go for query match. When our query matches this particular value, the response will be positive. When the query matches to some other particular value, the response will be negative. So let's see, uh, I'm giving like positive input. When I'm giving a positive input, I need to give a pause. I need to get a positive response. So click on this. to the X path in the input. So what is the input that I wanted to give so that I'll be dispatching the response. Go to request, so int A. So X path slash plus star plus any tag having a value int A and the tag name int A. For this, if I provide 
and input value is 50. I'm dispatching POS2 response. So what is the POS2 response I need to dispatch? So I'm picking like 100 is the POS2 response when I give 50. So when I give into value is 50, I need to get response as 100. Next cell, I can prepare one more and make it input. So anything other than this is a negative input. Same. So I'm dispatching this to response to what is negative response. What is the response? Mm, thanks, Mark. Invalid. Reports. Once this is prepared, go back to the mock service. Double click on it. This is run button. You can see clearly starts with mock service on the specified port and the endpoint. If you wanted to change the um, service URL, I mean the endpoint, then you need to go over here in the settings. And then if you want to configure the path, you can change it port number and this is my system name. So this is what it is. You can change it to some other. Uh, server which you wanted to run the service on, mock service on. Okay. Click OK. Click Start. Once the mock service is started, so it is running. It is running on port 8081. Now, let's trigger the input. So let me provide 50 as an input and run. So let's see. So let's validate the response. So before this, we have configured. Once again, let's see. Let me stop the mock service. We have configured the mock service on this particular server with the host name Samsung, port number this one, and the path for the mock services on the, this particular server is slash. So need to change the mock service UR because we are hitting this endpoint. host name is Samsung call h081 slash okay let me check it one more time Let's run the mock service. Okay. If you stop the mock service and if you run the request, so let's see what happens. It says that there are currently zero running SOAP UI mock services. So it was hitting this particular endpoint in this particular path, but it's in that particular path, there is no mock service. I mean, there is no service available for us. So now let's run the service, mock service server. So let's 
So once we start this, and we'll So, what we are given is like if we are going to give an invalid input other than 50 for int a, we need to get response as invalid inputs. So, let us trigger. So, we got invalid inputs. So, this is the negative response. Let me try other than question mark 60. This is not a valid one. So if giving anything other than question mark, we're going to receive response as invalid input. And if you're going to give other than that, you're going to get response as 100. So if you give any positive values or hard coded output is 100. So if we are going to give question mark again, so this is not a valid input, so we will be getting invalid, invalid inputs. So this is all about mocking, service mocking. So let's see once again. So we created a mock service, clicking on the interface, generate SOAP mock service, and once that is done, we have got this one, and under that with the we selected the add operation to be mock. And once that is done, we had configured the server. Server IP, host name, and the path. Once it is done, we had created the response. Two type of response: positive response and negative response. In the positive response, we told like output should be 100 for a positive response, and in the negative response. We have provided like we need to get invalid inputs. So when we provide inputs, okay, we need to trigger positive response. And when we provide negative inputs, negative input is a question mark. When you provide question mark, we need to receive negative response. This one. So that's all. That's all about service mocking.